It is week nine of high school football season, and it is almost playoff time. We've got News 8 Sports Director Matt Randazzo and Corey Cutler live at Geneseo High School for the score on the road. Yeah, week nine of the high school football season is here. Last week of the regular season, playoffs start next week. Big games all over the area. We're here at Geneseo. Big game here, Geneseo and Moline. We're joined now by the head coach of the Maple Leafs, Larry Johnson. And coach, before we talk football, you kind of mentioned it when you, when you came up and walked up. Look around this place. Yeah. And I know you're probably biased, but Fine. this is what's right about high school football. You have a beautiful stadium, a stadium that's been renovated, but it still has that old school feel and tradition. Do you pinch yourself every morning getting to come and come to work here? I, I do. Yeah. And uh, it, it's, it's a good place to live. It's a good place to work. And I'm very lucky, obviously. What has this week been like? You guys are coming off a huge win last week to get you to five wins, which gets you playoff eligible. What's the week been like for the players as you get ready for a week nine game? I think it's been a change of confidence. You know, I, I mean, you know, um, last week we had some we had some real hard discussions, uh, and um, you know, I commend the team for 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 wanting to talk and communicate with the coaches and vice versa. Sometimes as a coach, you get so locked in on things, uh, and it was really important for our captains to step up and say, "Hey." Coach, we need to talk. And it wasn't it wasn't pointing fingers or anything. It was just making sure that we got aligned on the right page uh, and, and got things going. And um, I think that that's carried over through the, through this week. You know, I, I mentioned last week to the team. I, I think they found themselves, uh, and that was a big deal for us. And so uh, um, you always want to take steps in, in a lot of different ways, on the field and off the field, and in a leadership role. I think they did a really good job last week. So it's just kind of carried over this week. Uh, and we'll see how it goes tonight. Coach, you talked about last week, and you're down 14 nothing to a very good Rock Island team, and then come back, outscore them, win the game by two touchdowns, get bowl, or bowl eligible, get playoff eligible. Um, what does it say about you guys? And you mentioned it because you got to be proud not of what they did on the field, but what they are mentally and, and, and sustaining that shot from Rock Island and coming back and win that football game. Well, it goes back to what I just said. You know, I think that the, the kids really had an invested interest uh, in, in, in going into that game. They knew the situation, and they knew what their goals beginning of the season uh, and I thought that they did a really good job of practice last week and uh, you know there's been times where we've gotten down and um, uh, we haven't been able to regroup and come back and unfortunately we were able to do that last week and you could just see a different a different team you know the the, the, the trick is now the key is, is 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 you know how do we do tonight you know is it, is it just a one week yeah. thing or is it is it starting to build and so um, I think we've had a good week of practice it's been a little bit more loose um, which is which is good yeah. I think um, um, but we got to make sure that we don't waste time and, and, and get into bad habits and, and that stuff you mentioned coming into play tonight you have a bullying team coming in that's looking to go undefeated in conference looking to win a second straight big six championship how do you handle a team like that how do you play against a team like that knowing that you have some confidence and a win could get you a better spot in the playoffs yeah well you know the the thing about tonight is we're obviously uh, our main focus is Moline. Um, and I just really think up front offensively and defensively is where it all starts. Uh, I mean, they just move people and, and stuff like that. And, and then just, they just shut you down and fill up the gaps and fit the run really well defensively. And so I really think they're well coached. I think they're a really good team um, and they're very physical. And so going into tonight's game, our main concern is, is, is just getting better, just like building off of what we right. just got done talking about with Rock Island and, and, and getting better that way. And so um, that's our main focus tonight, uh, how that rolls, how it ends up, you know, it's the way it ends up. Um, I told them last night um, that, that, you know, Coach Johnson's gonna be happy um, if we play hard and do the very best that we can, mm -hmm. I'll be even happier if we win. Absolutely. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, I like to win games. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and so, but um, I want us to perform well. Uh, I want us to stay focused on what the goal is and objective is and, and go from there. Coach, uh, the home game tonight, who knows what the postseason holds, where you'll play first round, second round, but you got some seniors that'll maybe take this field for the last time tonight. What do you tell those guys, those seniors? I know seniors, and I, I've got to cover you for a long time. I know the seniors in your program are very important. What do you say to these seniors tonight on a special night? Well, we, we, we said it last night. We had a big team dinner and, and uh, um, a, a kind of a ceremony that we have um, the Thursday before our last game. And, you know, the, the players were reminded that this is a senior's last guaranteed game of being at home. Yeah. And, and it's really important for all of us to have all of our energy and everything going to help them out and do the very best that we can to make this not a special night for them. 
talk about A.J. Weller, Jordan Weinzer, the offense. These guys have really stepped up, and, and you are a run-first team, which is traditional for what Geneseo does, but you've been able to mix in that pass a little bit, and A.J. has done a good job of that. Yeah, it's taken a couple years to adjust to what we've been doing, uh, a little bit longer than what I've wanted. Uh, I, you know, um, we, but I think we've got our identity back, mm-hmm. uh, and that's that's been a big deal for me. Uh, I just think that you know the teams that we play are just such big play teams that we can't get into that kind of track meet with them. Right. Um, and so what, what we also wanted to do is we also wanted to be a little bit more diverse and have the opportunity to throw the ball when we wanted to um, and, and give ourselves, our quarterback and our guys, a chance to, to you know, to have those opportunities. Um, but I think the progress has been has been really good with AJ and and, and, and uh, Jaden Weinzerl and, and Jaron Neal has come out of nowhere and it's just kind of all blended together offensively for us. Um, but the thing about it is I think the big thing that, that, that uh, changed this year was is we got our identity back. Mm-hmm. Right, and we're working towards that. I don't think right. we're there yet. Sure. Um, but we're, we're starting to win battles up front on the line of scrimmage. We're starting to control the time of possession, which is a really big deal for me yeah. because that's got to be how we win games. And so um, with all that going on, I think we've done a good job. I think we're progressing. Maybe not as fast as what I wanted to do, wanted to, but I think we're making progress. Coach, we appreciate you for taking some time and joining us. Sure. Of course, a big game here tonight. Moline and Geneseo will have coverage of this game and so many more throughout the area. And coming up later on in today's show, we'll have much more on week nine of the high school football season. And the score, don't forget, tonight at 1035 with a new guest griller. We'll talk about him coming up in just a little bit. Back to you guys.